welcome to the Oversight Global's The Energy of Gratitude series. We're on the along. We are deep diving into the practice of gratitude, a super quick, super easy, yet highly beneficial tool that you can use for positivity and success. My name is Angelique Bohr. I'm your series host, as well as the founder of Oversight Global. We are an organization that addresses the consciousness crisis in the world by advocating for awareness and consciousness. We strive to educate and empower individuals and businesses to be aware of and strive to fulfill their fullest potential and uniquely contribute to the world. Today, I am excited to have um, Christina J on our show today. She is a clinical hypnotherapist, energy healer, and speaker based in the U.S. She spent decades fighting depression, PTSD, and anxiety that stemmed from years of abuse, but it was through RTT and vibrational healing that she was able to finally win her war. Christina quickly realized that she was meant to help other women who fight their own battles by using her experiences and the methods that gave her peace and happiness. Now she helps guide women through their transformation so they can take back their lives. Christina, welcome. So excited that you're here with us. Yes, I'm excited too. Thank you so much. Of course. So let's go ahead and dive into talking about gratitude. So can you tell us what does gratitude mean to you? Well, you know, I think it's, for me, it's just appreciating the small things Mm -hmm. because to me, it's the small things that add up. It's, those are the things that we forget about, but they play much bigger roles than just that small moment. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people feel like gratitude is, has like negative tones. And so for me, it's appreciation, like appreciate everything, even those awful moments have silver linings right and you know acknowledging that is is what it's all about yeah definitely definitely I hear you um when you're talking about small things being grateful for the small things because we tend to you know when big things happen we're like, super excited and really thankful but you know it's the small things too because like you're saying um they they create this compounding effect when you recognize and are grateful for the little things um then you kind of realize you know it it keeps you present and you realize really all all the things that you have to be grateful for it's not just you know one or two things a month here and there it's you have things every day to be grateful for so that's great it's a domino effect oh definitely just keeps going yeah (laughs) exactly (laughs) so how about sharing with us how you found gratitude affects you in your life you know in your intro um you talked about um how you've overcome quite a lot did you was gratitude something that helped you get through all of that at first no I mean I I was stuck in a cycle for Mm. most of my life where I was like oh I have this gray cloud following me everywhere I go I it took me hitting rock bottom to really snap out of it Mm -hmm. Um, and then I started listening to my gut which led me the universe slowly led me to these little events that just kind of gave me my wow moment and Mm -hmm. I as I look back I was like oh my gosh all these little things led me to this and I need to focus on those little things because in that moment I was like oh my gosh it's another thing you know right. it, it wasn't anything I really gave much thought to but that's what led me to where I am now mm-hmm. yeah yeah that's awesome so when did you um kind of discover like um how being appreciative and grateful was important and how it could you know give you some benefits it could change things for you it was so like I said it was after I hit rock bottom and I started following my intuition and and when I so it's kind of a weird story so I ended up packing up one day and I was like I'm gonna make all these changes jumped in my car drove for hours until I found a place that I'd never been but it felt like home Mm -hmm. and then within a couple of weeks I was sitting in my new home in in my my bedroom sitting on my bed and all of a sudden hypnotherapy popped into my head and 
A week later, I was signed up for RTT, going to school for RTT, and that was when I realized that those, I have so much to be grateful. Those steps, those breadcrumbs led me to my big aha moment. I, I needed to appreciate all of those little things that I took for granted because I always, that belief and constantly like oh, that cloud hanging over my head or, oh, that's another terrible thing. It was keeping me, it was holding me back. Mm -hmm. And then once I realized that focusing on those little things started snowballing and every day I noticed more and more and more, it just expanded my world. So it was right. over, over time, but the mm -hmm. big aha moment was that move and sitting in my room and finding RTT. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Well, that's awesome. So, you know, kind of considering, um, how gratitude has, you know, come into your life and kind of affected your life and then considering it kind of more on a kind of global span, like how can it help other people? Um, but when we look at especially the last couple of years where we've all gone through this worldwide pandemic, I mean, how um, do you think grat gratitude can really be, um, you know, utilized and regarded throughout the world um, kind of, you know, now and then moving forward? I think everybody has has the shared trauma from the past couple of years. Right. We're very different, but very similar situations. I mean, and there is a lot of negativity looming around that in many people's lives. Mm -hmm. So if people start taking those small things and focusing on them, because everything's vibration, energy, so when we start focusing on those little good wins, those little appreciations, it'll start attracting more appreciation. Right. And you can do so by, you know, just saying, oh, thank you, just to yourself for writing it down. I love journaling. Mm -hmm. um, little affirmations, post-its all over your right. house that reminds you of what to be thankful for. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of stuff really gets the ball going. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I agree with you there. Um, so do you have any tips or tricks or advice for somebody that, you know, um, kind of think about yourself a few years ago when you didn't know about gratitude and how it could help you? Um, you know, do you have any kind of um, tips or tricks for somebody who's kind of in that place and has never thought of gratitude, wasn't really aware that you could um, use it to create positivity and stuff like that? Um, how can somebody brand new to it get started? Well, it takes work. It's not something that you're like, oh, everything is appreciation and <laughs> gratitude, and, you know. Right. It does take work. Uh, you have to make mental notes of you know, when you catch yourself in a negative thought, stop yourself and think, okay, what good came out of this? And I mean, I've been through horrendous situations in my life, mm -hmm. but I'm grateful for them. And as horrible as that sounds to a lot of people, it's because it's what led me to where I am now. So you can, I mean, even starting thinking about things in your past, look at those situations be like, oh, that was great. Like, oh, if that didn't happen, this wouldn't have happened. Start mm -hmm. linking things in a positive light. I think one of the easiest ways for people to really start going is journaling. Every day, even if you think today was terrible and there's nothing good about it, journal your day, just start flowing. And then you'll, and I even did this with my daughter. <laughs> it's after a while you start noticing, you can visually see how your day played out and all those little good things that happened. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, um, I think we have this kind of natural tendency to think about negative and complain, you know. Um, I know I've gotten in the habit, in fact, just the other day, I was at the grocery store and I started to kind of get down on the fact that 
um, my groceries were costing double than what they used to. And I really had to, you know, and again, I've been practicing gratitude for, you know, a few years now. But even, you know, even though I'm seasoned, I still had to, you know, stop myself and think, you know what, we're not going to complain. We are grateful that we can get food and that we could afford these groceries. So, yeah, I mean, it definitely does take um, some work, um, some awareness. And um, like you said, just just recognize when you start having those negative thoughts um, or self-talk that, you know, you want to turn around. That's an opportunity for you to use gratitude to do that. So that's great. And I think a big misconception is when you see people on social media and, you know, these new gurus, it's like, oh, everything is love and light and I'm always <laughs> positive and I never have negative thoughts. And that's actually not realistic. Yes. I don't care who you are. You're going to have moments where you're like, ugh, this is horrible. And, you know, you, and then you kind of fall out of that cycle, but it's okay to fall out of that cycle. You just got to jump back up on that bandwagon and get the ball rolling again. Right. It's not always going to be sunshine and, <laughs> and rainbows. It's just not, that's not how life works. We need those bad moments to appreciate the light. We right. need the darkness to appreciate that light. And too many people beat themselves up. They're like, oh, I was doing so good. And today I just had a horrible day and there's nothing that came good out of it. And <laughs> I can't do this. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Especially this time of year for me, because, you know, I'm in Seattle, Washington and it can get gloomy and rainy. And, you know, sometimes you wake up and you're like, I don't feel like doing it. You know? Oh my, yes. I, you know, during the winter, I miss living in Washington, but during the winter there, when it's been raining for a week straight Oh yeah. and it's 30 degrees, you get a little down after a little bit. Definitely. Definitely. So yeah, I mean, gratitude definitely comes in handy. I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm happy that I woke up. I'm happy that I have the opportunity to do what I'm doing today. You know, it's really, it, that definitely comes in handy, um, you know, during the, the dark, cold winter months. So yeah. Seriously. Yes. But yeah. Well, no, another... great... Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I was just going to say another, that popped into my mind, another tip or thing to remember is it takes 21 days to build a habit. Right. So saying things like, oh, I, I appreciate this tea that I had today to sit on my couch, even though I didn't want to do anything. <laughs> Speaking those out loud as you go is a good habit to get into as well. Same as journaling. You're recognizing. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Some great points. And I'm, um, you know, um, thank you for pointing out that it's not like once you kind of achieve being grateful all the time that you're going to be positive all the time. <laughs> and it's not going to be, you know, flowers and bubbles all the time. But again, like you said, we're human and it's going to be, it's an up and down. Um, but yeah, I mean, just having that awareness is important. Got to ride the wave. That's what life's about. Be exactly. waves. You got to, you got to <laughs> take the ups with the downs. And as long as you're aware and you can recognize when you're in a down moment, you can go right back up. Exactly, exactly. And I think that's important too, to recognize is that, you know, when you uh, have this awareness and consciousness and you have this practice where you can kind of get yourself out of that negativity much quicker than, you know, just kind of um, lying in it for days or months at a time. When you have those challenges or those negative moments, like you said, you just pop right back up. So that's, that's a great benefit to it too. Well, it's hard, especially for women. We tend to ruminate in yes. things. <laughs> so we're like, oh, like I, you know, you have something pop up in your head from 15 years ago that was embarrassing. That's how, that's all people, but for women, it's on steroids and we yeah. ruminate on that. And so mm -hmm. it's so easy for us to get down and stay down. Right. So we have to work extra hard sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Well, it's thank not you easy. so much. Yeah, thank <laughs> you so much. This is um, amazing um, insight and ideas um, for our audience. So, can you tell us a little bit more about who you are and what you do? Yeah, so, I am a clinical hypnotherapist. I help uh, women with depression, PTSD, anxiety. I also use energy healing in my practice as well as various other tools depending on the client. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm also a speaker 
And uh, yeah, so I've just been doing that for the past couple of years and I love it. It's been an incredible journey, meeting incredible people. Mm-hmm. And it, it's it's been life-changing for me, probably <laughs> more so than my clients realize. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I agree with you there. Same thing for me with my with my journey. So how can people connect or follow you? So they can find me on Facebook or LinkedIn. Um, it's ChristinaJNL.com. Or not .com, but it, <laughs> the, my name is Christina JNL on Facebook or on LinkedIn. Okay, sounds great. And we'll actually put those links in the video description. So people who want to connect with you can go ahead and do that. So before we close, did you have any final thoughts or key takeaways for um, our audience watching this episode today? Don't beat yourself up. I went through the ringer and spent most of myself under, or most of my life under that gray cloud. And Mm -hmm. if I can get out of it, it, you can too. Anybody, whoever is listening to this, you can get out of that gray cloud. It just takes work. And you have to realize that it's not going to be easy. But once you get there, it's going to be incredible. It's going to be an incredible drive. And it's the small thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Well, thank you so much. Again, like I said, so um, much great insight and knowledge. And thanks for sharing your experience. I'm sure that, um, you know, people have gotten a lot out of it. Because I know that I have. So (laughs) I've, I've learned a lot. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Yeah, and thank you, audience, for being here as well and as for watching. Be sure to check out our other episodes of the Energy of Gratitude series. If you're getting as much out of it as I am, be sure to let your friends, family, and others know. And be sure to subscribe below if you haven't already to get notified of future episodes and videos on our channel. And we will see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.